sugar? Mm-hmm. Not a blow buddy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a flashback. Yeah, Richie. Oh, oh Mike. Brother, Mike. Yeah. <sighs> Love you, Bear. Love you too, Bear. Is that the real baby daddy? That's your brother. Uh, maybe it's just like, like, don't do it to yourself. No one can make anyone else act a certain way. <laughs> okay. Act of pleasure, no one's right. Remember last year? Mm. And the year before? Yeah. So I'm not fucking crazy. Nobody thinks you're crazy. Nobody you say that. Well, she is. Yeah, she's fucking out of her mind. And here I am, just fucking in the middle, because you're you, part of me's part of me. Okay, so then just, you know, let us handle it. You won't handle it. No, we won't exactly. That's my point. With her not handling it, it's the best way to handle it. They're talking with their mama? I mean, where do you think she's at right now? What, like at a four? You know, five. She's not at a six, right? Mm-hmm. I've heard you ask her three times tonight if she's all right. You don't have to ask her every ten minutes if she's okay. That's not going to help it. Do you know how much I would love to feel like I, I didn't you have to ask her? you very, very much. Yes, a lot. <laughs> I would look at a lot. Sure. Hey, you guys call me? Well, I just said you're you. Hey, hey, Mikey, can you come inside and be you real quick? I don't know how to deal with these people. Yeah, I'll be right there. You need to come be the social person, because you know I can ain't you that. Can you come be you? Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. No. Is this some family shit I should go about? No, it is not. Is this some family shit? Because I'm part of the family. Cousin. <laughs> this is family shit I should know about? Snowy Christmas house. They look like to the bear. That's fucking adorable. Kelly, to pick up the phone. Carter, I'm happy you're home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is not all right. What? What? She is throwing up. Get her some. 
Carmen made this for you. What do you mean he made it for me? He made it for you. It's like a guy named Pop Machine, this guy. He's a weird little dude. <laughs> Yo. Right? Right? What's up with him now? He's so, like... I don't know. He's a little, yeah. He's weird. We're, um, we're trying to hook him up with Claire Bear, you know? Loose him up a little bit. With Claire? Yeah. Why would you do that? She's so nice. <laughs> Are you still mad at me? No. I threw up so many times that I honestly forgot what I was mad about. You just puked all that anger up, just kind of all out of there. Take it. Hey, did you go look at the place? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's expensive. But it's nice. And the schools are nice. It's a public school. Walk to school. Do you think that she'll like us? Um, I hope so. Okay, me too. Just gonna not be like our parents, you know. Well, you're not like a psycho vampire. Alcoholic. Bitch. Like, no offense. No, it's, it's accurate. I'm actually here. So that's a start. I'm actually here, so that's a start. That's for sure. No, no, it's good. It's good. I like it. <laughs> well, this is adorable because we only see them broken up after this. Outside of barf is that you get some peace and quiet. That is true. I get to be away from all the psychos downstairs. <laughs> right? That's she just wild. She's gonna kill me if I throw up on her robe. I don't think she'll notice. <laughs> so much. I have a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Is that a leopard? Or is it a cheetah? Or is it a panther? I have a quick question for you. What it's do you think leopard. this is? We're in Donna's bedroom. It's going to be a fucking cheetah. <laughs> Thing, right? Yeah, boy. 
Christmas. I mean, the kid does change it, though. Once the kid comes out. It out. It's a piece of shit. It's got like seven cracks in the foundation. Well, yeah, but the thing is, the, the guy doesn't have a realtor. Hey, I thought if you oh, no, help no, again. No, 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 no. Yeah, but no, this could be a I chance. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I got him. Okay, but everybody it's wins, you know? Yeah. No, you wins. make a deal. I make a deal. We get to, you know, oh, yeah. kick it. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. Though. Think about it, okay? Okay. So, guys, are we really doing this again? I'm just. I'm cleaning up a mess here. <laughs> well, you are, Mr. Lee. Well, you know what, Michael? Michael? That's not very nice. That's not very nice. Michael! What happened to the Christmas spirit in this house? It's gone. I can't find it. Where is there? What the hell there? What happened to the Christmas spirit in this house? That's the energy of food downstairs, like, like, mm -hmm. puffing yourself up. The job from earlier. What? Don't be an asshole. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of you. Oh, okay. In that case, I gotta put on my real face. Jimmy, what did I see earlier? You said we can talk about it later. And now it's later. Very good. So sure. All right. I'm about to have this kid. I don't know how to be, I mean, wrapping up sandwiches for the rest of my life. No, I don't come home with my hands covered in grease, trying to change diapers and stuff. And, you're, um, someone with a lot going on. You could probably use some help. I've been looking. There's not much going on out there. You know, you're somebody that knows something. And I want to be at the beef every day. That makes sense, right? I feel like I'm wasting potential. I don't know. Uh, I'm good with people, and uh, I don't really have an outlet for that, though. And I've never had a mentor. I've never had an uncle. Oh, well, what? Take my name. Either of those things. Yeah, but you understand what I'm saying, though, right? No, I do not. I'm not asking you for money. I want to learn. If you teach me, I will learn. And you can trust me. You want me to, you want me to teach you things? Yeah. Yeah, do you know? It's the business there. know his line of work. His line of work is, you know, it's not conducive to coming home every day. Did your daddy buy you these matching outfits? Yeah. Yeah. Big Neil got for us. Yeah. Cole's cash. Cole's cash. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is your sister coming? Francie's not allowed. Why? Yeah. Because it's oh. not. She's not as hell. She's hey. She's hey. Yeah. 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 Still. Still. Maybe like, they're matching outfits. The big nail bottle for Yeah. 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 So. I'm sorry, that's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Francie's a fuck face, though. Totally. totally. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just like a total fuck face. Oh, yeah. Totally. All the way. She's nice. So yeah. Well, like, oh, she's she's nice. nice. She's nice. <laughs> no. Worst. No worst. Totally worse. the fuck face. Yeah. Is New York City the best? You know, it's just like you're alive, and then you come here, and you're dead. You know? <laughs> do you think Donna's going to do something crazy? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they got a lot of shit. Maybe I 
She got so much shit going on. It's fucking No, honey. I don't want to have to explain to everyone why I call you sugar again. Everybody knows why well, already. I, I actually don't know why. I've never heard that story. Do you know what's really fucking crazy? Is when you're trying to cook and you're just, they pour into the kitchen. You know, it's fucking boiling in here. Is this a passive aggressive way no. of you asking me no, to no, leave? No, 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 no. It is an aggressive, aggressive way of asking me to go scratch it. Do you know how fucking hot it is? By the way, I do not know the story. Oh, you hit because me. she added a cup of sugar instead of a cup of salt, and then the grape <laughs> <laughs> tasted like fucking one punch. Okay. I'm so glad we had this time together. Now I know. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What? Okay. What? I don't know what. Um, oh, did you get tip the saltines? Get them for her. I don't remember what that was for. Oh, yes. Sugar, you have to remember. To remind me, remember? The bread isn't... No, no, it wasn't the bread. It was the peppers. The peppers, right. The peppers. Sugar? Yeah. You're going to have to remind me and put the bread in. Okay. Right before dinner. Okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay because okay. the peppers are cooking. And she had the potatoes. It's like my the potatoes are going to go into like navigate it. Like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. I can see you're drunk. I can't. I can't. Did I win? No, no, no you don't win. Well, Mama clearly needs help, pick, pick, pick but nobody wants to get Mama five, help. Five, five, take five. You got ten dice here, okay? You roll it thirteen times. Okay. It hopes to get five twenty-six times. See, that's, that's where it. you're wrong. No, I'm not. Yeah, wrong. you are. You, you take ten dice, but no. the first person to get twenty-six. Please. No, I taught you how to play the game. You didn't teach me how to. Yes, I did. No, yes, I did. Gary did. No, he did. He used to take me to the club with the hot girls. I think Gary doesn't do shit. You ever seen a hot girl in your life? All right, listen, Steve. You got 500 bucks on you? Do you like baseball cards? <laughs> <laughs> can I take those one at a time? Do you like baseball cards? I, do I have access to 500 bucks? Yeah, I, I absolutely do. Great. That's perfect. Four, that's great. Right. That's great. I'm a 43 year old man. Yeah. 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 Do I have access? Yeah. 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 I'm a 43 year old man. Boxes of baseball cards. Boxes of cards. And we're flipping them. And there's one box on eBay. My alerts are baseball cards are back. You know that. So they're valuable right now. They're valuable right now. $500. Yeah. Can make you. Fifteen hundred dollars. Triple my money. We yeah. in. With this, Triple my money. This row is already in. He did this in on what? ROI. Return on ROI. That's kind of our. That's kind of our. That's the business. Do you know what? I'm going to give you the five hundred dollars. Hold on. Hold on. Because whatever you do with that is going to be very interesting to me. Yeah. And I all I ask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One of you has to get in touch with me. We Weekly, <laughs> I want to hear when you open the boxes and when you go through the cards. I want to hear what's inventory, what's in inventory, and more importantly, what's maybe not in it. I actually, this, this my one. dad had a Roberto Clemente mm. uh, from the Pittsburgh Pirates, of course, uh, rookie card. But Michelle and I, we tossed it when we moved. What are you? That's the stupidest stupid? thing you've ever done. I'm glad. Do you know what you could get for that right now? What twenty five? One hundred twenty five thousand dollars. One hundred twenty five dollars. You fuck. I'm really. You I fuck. like seeing you guys every year. You. Fucking deliver. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking deliver. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this $500 to know what the fuck you guys do. That's one thing. <laughs> I just have a dog I call me every day. Every week. Tell Take me what we're talking about. Oh, shit, yeah. sir. Come on. Oh, 125 My favorite line, though, is do I have access to $500? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> do I have $500 somewhere? Absolutely. <laughs> What's going on? Would I gotta drag it out of you? What? I just, yo, I just, I thought, I thought when I was back, I could work with you, right? At the spot. I mean, we could talk about the shop, because I've been learning a lot of shit, and I don't know, I feel like I got some ideas. Yeah, look, the place is no good, dude, Carmi. It's, it's a fucking nightmare. Like, trust me, I'm doing you a favor. I'd love to hear your ideas. I would. I, 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 I want to hear about you. I do. I want to hear about you. I was talking to you. And acting all nice if you don't actually give a fuck, you know? What? What, what are you talking about? I, I, I don't give a fuck. Why would you say that to me? Come on, I get like a, I get like a huge fuck. Yeah, like a, yeah, fuck yeah. I, mean, I get, I, 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 I get like the so biggest So much more fuck. sweeter knowing what he does for his brother yeah. at the end of season one, yeah. you know? Alright, alright. You know? I, um, uh, you know, I got 
got you. I got no, I just said, but I got you. What? I, just, I got you, so I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> you got me a present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you a present. I just want to sit on the You gotta sit on the sink. Maybe it cover the same size. I sit top of there. Come down to your level, bro. in uh, Northern California, and I saw a bear run up a tree so goddamn fast, <laughs> and I did not like it at all. When were you in <laughs> Northern California? Um, most of my life before we met, and very weird that you know. You know, really, you start to inspire us. Yeah, it's it's true. They both. You know, we are it's past like, the point it's of like, no return. It's not good, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and now it's like the next morning, right? And we're like fucking rock. So it's like, like, rock. Like, like, I look over at him and I'm like, Jet lag. Well, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm looking at you and I don't even recognize you. It's like a monster. He's like, uh, <laughs> I'm like, Michael? Yeah, because you look like a fucking monster, Bob. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I couldn't even tell if it was you. Thank you. Yeah, he told me that you gave him a job. Okay, look. 
Here's the truth, all right? How many of you know I'm a big fan of this guy? I believe in him. I do. Which is precisely why I gave him a fucking job. Aw, he keeps right? it firm. Thing is, I just want to keep a lid on it for now. Because I don't want every jack off animal of the land Aww. to know that I have all these jobs to give out, which I don't. All right? Right, Richard? And they already showed us he came with the women's thing. When the women talked to him, he came. He's a little softer, baby. And I appreciate you too. He played a role so good. That was that was a cool move, though. Like, do I have to wait? Can I pay? She'll be, she'll be out in the minute. Can I pay? Do you care? Uh, I'll go for it. Don't need to say great. Yeah, she'll, she'll be here. She'll, she'll be in a minute. Yeah. Lee, go check out your girl, man. Oh, what's up, Mom? <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> I'm good. Hey. Everybody sit down now. You know, everything looks so beautiful. I don't think I can do this by myself anymore. You're not by yourself, right? That is fucking... I don't even know what that is. What kind of impression is that? She's probably bipolar. Or manic. Manic, man. I got manic. Or both. People just sick. And then the alcohol doesn't do her no, any favors. No, no. Here we go. Yeah. A, little, uh, a little something came up, huh? <laughs> a little bit more than something. Oh, poor me. Yeah. You feel okay? I'm good. Yeah. Good. How are you? Good. Hey, Mikey. Yeah. You want to say grace? <laughs> I don't know, cousin. Just so motherfucker. Yeah, I more more the same thing. <clears throat> Depends. Uh, is it Grace we've heard a million times? Oh, okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go, Lee. Uh, there we go, Lee. Would you like to say Grace, my friend? Oh. Can I please not? <laughs> you don't want to? I don't. Okay. I'm in. Okay, so then I'm going to ask the same question I ask every year, which is, what the hell is the point of seven fishes? I don't get it. Oh, I know the answer. Well, it's biblical, okay? The seven fishes, and uh, also uh, by the manger, right? There's uh, Dutch oven potatoes that burn the living shit out of me earlier. Yeah. Oh, did you <laughs> just throw a fork at me? I did. Yeah, that's the thing, Lisi, because you see what you did, right? You, you already did that. You remember, you already bitched about the Dutch oven. You see, you did that before. Michael, what are you doing? No, he started it. Okay. What? Mike, just don't throw fucking forks at people. Don't throw forks. Don't, 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 don't throw don't, forks don't, at don't, people. Don't, don't, it's a rule. It's a rule. It's a rule. Hey, fact. Using your fork. Yeah, I, I, I need it, Mike. I need it. I need it, Mike. Yeah. Mike. I just I need please. Please. See, please. Sugar please. can't handle please. any please. of this. Please. Like, please. she's please. like, please. I now this is too much anxiety. Yo, Michael. 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 I do the fork, Lee. Michael. See what I did? I did the fork. Tiff. Tiff. Please. Because so, hey, 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 hey. you're scared of the normals. This is fine. This you're is scared of the normals. Is, it's nothing. Hey, Mikey, can you hear everybody? Not right now, Stevie. Cut it out. Rich? Hey, look, here's the thing. You see, I can throw forks. Rich. Because this is our father's house. My, right? Rich, Lee. my father's house. Okay, you got everyone's attention. So go ahead and tell us a story we've all heard a million times already. <laughs> Why are you still pushing all this the buttons? Yeah, tell us story about how you look with bro. your mom. And you're borrowing money off of her and any other sucker who'll listen to your bullshit. Lee, you shut the fuck up. You, you're one of the suckers, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I told him. I told him not to listen to you. I told him not to help. I told him to tell you to go scratch. Thanks a whole fucking lot, buddy. You come back next year, okay? Who's Lee, though? Like, what's Lee the family? It's fine, because this guy's nothing, and he's nobody. And I know you're, you're scared and you're afraid, aren't you, Michael? And Michael, I don't know what what the fuck you're on, but whatever it is, if you can hear me through the fog, throw another fork at me, you're gonna get fucking rocked. Fireworks.
The bomber ain't even came out yet. He peed. Um, just like, come on, bro. Bro, put the fucking fork down. Michael, please don't do this. Michael, hey. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna th throw this fork at you. I love you. Okay? I love you too, sure. That's why I gotta throw this fork. I'm begging you. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I giggle when I get nervous. Oh, well, Steve, do not apologize for that. You fucking giggle. Fucking giggle. Fucking enjoy this. This is fun. Michael, I need you to calm down, buddy. All right? There's other people at the table. I need you to calm down. You're being a bit of an asshole. Thank you, Uncle Jay. I'm fine. That is the familial support I was looking for. Yeah, well, you're being a fucking asshole, too. Yeah, yeah Lee. that, too, Uncle Jay. Go ahead. Let's go. Who's you Lee? Go you go Lee. You want to go Lee? Huh? You, you want to go Lee? Put it down. <laughs> don't want to put it down. Come <laughs> on. Oh, well, Lee, you look like you bite. Hey, some people just they don't know how to they don't know how to for deal with fuck's sake. Your mother been working for fucking days making this meal. Have some respect. There's other people at this fucking table. Yeah. Stop. Shut the, the fuck up. Throw the fucking fork. Here you go. Sit down. Sit, Sit down. down. Oh, what you look at your eyes rolling? I didn't throw you fucking pussy. You fucking flinch. Look. You did it again, you fucking pussy. Throw it. I'm not on anything. I flinch. I stuff my brain's connected to my nerves. You monster. Yeah, I'm a monster. You're a fucking monster. Nobody wants you. You loser. Nobody you fucking loser wants you. Fucking monster. Nobody fucking wants you here with your big fucking mouth. With your big fucking mouth. Just fucking throw it. Go ahead, fucking throw it. You fucking asshole. Yeah, make it about you. Make Christmas about you. Hey, you're such a tough guy. Throw the fucking fork. You're nothing. Donna? Perfect to have my lady. What an incredible job Donna did. And I, I, could, I could hear in there. It sounded very hard. And it's just gorgeous. And is he still holding the fork? Sure. And is he still okay. holding the fork? Um, <laughs> listen. Listen. <laughs> what is the seven fishes? Or why do we do it? Mm -hmm. And I think I know and what I think, um... definition is. Uh, as soon as I think. It's a chance to <laughs> She's smoking hard be over together there. and to take care of each other and to eat together. And there's seven fishes, which means you have to make seven entirely different dishes, seven entirely different ways. And that takes a lot of time. And I think spending that time and using that time on the people that we love is how we show them that we love them. And maybe we eat too much, and we definitely drink too much, and we say too much without listening. But tonight we, we're gonna eat seven fishes, <laughs> which is absurd. Uh, but we have to take extra time to do it. And we have to chew more, and we have to listen more, and uh, we only get to do this tonight one time. So I, by the way, love it. I love being here. Thank you for having me every year at this. I, love, you do I it very much love you. And I love you. I, I, I'm very in love with Michelle. And I'm not gay like you guys asked a lot. <laughs> and but I'm not I gay. <laughs> you asked a lot. Like you said about theirs. <laughs> And how they are aggressive. aggressive. They're aggressive, but they're kind. They're sensitive. You guys have been so kind to me. You let me hang out with you every holiday. I don't have a family like this. And I'm really grateful that um, you make space for me at this table and you make time for me on the holiday. May God bless us and keep us safe in the new year. 
And please give Michael the strength not to throw that fork. Amen. Amen. Everybody should just fucking. He did Michael. a good job. Everybody should just say something about Michael not throwing a fork. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it helped a little. It seems like it did. Donna. Uh, Michael, somebody get to talk to the boss. Doesn't fucking matter. Oh, God. Doesn't fucking matter. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so I love you so much. We love you. This is so toxic. Oh, this is so toxic. <gasps> <gasps> That's a mama. Open the door. <laughs> oh man. Conclusion of episode six, season two of the Bear, and shout out to the cast and director, Jenny. <laughs> that's that's why I was looking it up because you gotta look that one up when it's so good like that. I mean, you have to be on point to write an episode like this, which is essentially a play, but for TV. But to have the right people to be a able bottle to, episode, a bottle episode, and to be able to pull that chaos off, you have to have masterful professional veterans at this game on a whole nother level and damn if they didn't deliver from beginning to end chaotic symphonic orchestral lee directed episode right here 1000 percent and the highs and the lows and the explosion at the end i can't say this episode has to be the most crafted best one of, of probably the entire season right here. And if we don't get no fucking accolades for this show, I don't know what else to tell you at all. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis coming through 100,000%, bringing it with the acting. Bob Odekirk. Yeah, killed uh, it. Everybody at the dinner table. My everybody fact, the, the whole goddamn everybody episode, killed everybody killed it. Uh, Barenthal, Mikey, killed it all day. The fork, I mean, it just... And then the surprise ended. I didn't see that one happen. It was already one surprise ending. Then two surprise um, uh, things that happened. And then the very, very ending surprise. It's just, what, what else can you say? And it's very cringeworthy. I mean, um, me me and Bay, it's just, we, we, you know, we, you know, we just like what they were at the table. You don't deal well in situations mm -hmm. that, that are that damn cringy. It's like volatile. Vo what can you do? Like, I, I'm, I'm in it. But I'm like I'm not in it. I'm just I'm just around it, and I'm like I, you just you just don't know what to do. And uh, the look on everybody's face when the shit was going down, it's just it's it, it, you you it was perfectly done. It's really what it was. It was perfectly done. And for the fork scene right there, I mean I've been in situations like that with the fork scene. It's basically a standoff. 
is what it is. And it's just like, do you say some or do you not say some? And you, just, <laughs> you know, you just you just wait it out. And then I ain't never been in a way where somebody crashed into a house with a car. So I ain't, I ain't never been nothing that was that far. But at that point, I don't know what I would do at that one. I, I, I just don't know. But man, I can see how the craziness happens. And, and so what I gathered from this episode here, Mikey, Donna, the mom, they, they're on the same spectrum of depression or bipolar or some syndrome like that. And ultimately, that's what happens, you know, in the end. For Mikey, at least. Um, I don't remember hearing anything about Donna or the mom. How ultimately, if she's still around or she's not around, I don't know. But... For Mikey, you can see how it, it kind of started right here at the Christmas dinner. And then just like, I think Lee telling him you're nothing, you're nothing, you're nothing. He may have only said it once or, or, or three times, but in Mikey's head, it, it just kept playing over and over. And then everybody was hinting at the rest of the episode. You know, you start all these businesses and you know, blah, blah, you never finish nothing. Blah. And it, it's just probably a, a snowball effect on Mikey later on to just be like, and I'm out. And you can see it in the mom. The mom was like, I did all this fucking shit today and nobody even cared. As a matter of fact, y'all probably wouldn't even miss me if I was gone. And you know what? I'm going to just go upstairs again and just and just, and just be done with it. And it's a very sad, sad, sad thing that that, 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 it, that, that is a reality for human beings. But, um, man, shout out to everybody, the creative crew and the director and the actors on this show. This was an amazing amazing episode right here from beginning to end and it needed to be as long as it was because holy shit i enjoy it i enjoyed it 1000 percent and cannot wait to see another episode um yeah so i'll speak just briefly on the cast too i was blown away by one who was casted and then how way how well everybody executed in their roles the MVP absolutely going to Jamie Lee. Like, she completely, I believe that was a real person. Yeah, like that's a, a fucking percent. mom right there. Like, I believe that all the way through and through. And I believed it for everybody's role. I don't think anybody was holding any punches or, like, holding back. I felt like everybody, and I feel like the casting director was like, if I'm casting you in this, you need to do the fucking shit, right? Yeah. Like, and I feel like everybody was like, yeah. got the mission statement and executed on it. Because yeah. it was... Yeah. Phenomenal, and I didn't even realize until forty-four minutes in that I was like, the episode, this episode hasn't ended, and then yeah. we're like, oh, it's a longer it's a episode. Long episode, and that's why it's like it pulls you so so into the show. And this is another, again, something I haven't seen ever to this degree, and the the creative approaches that this this series as a whole does. Um, from an execution, cinemato uh, cinematography, and just the dynamics they're able to create is so realistic and so organic that it feels, I mean, this was definitely real time, but it just feels so different and so refreshing um, from from anything I've ever seen before. And to your point, like, I don't know if it has or hasn't gotten any awards yet, but it's definitely warranted at this point. Um, so my biggest takeaway, so from the episode is Richie's conversation with Tiffany about how them talking about why she's pregnant, about how we need to not be our parents, right? Yeah. Um, and that is something that I feel like anybody that has had traumatic growing ups, that's something that you always challenge yourself with. I feel like that's something that everybody can relate to. It's like, how do I not be our parents? How do we be better than our parents were yeah. before us, right? And so it's heartbreaking to see that Carmi, Sugar, and Mikey's mother has depression and where Mikey's where uh, Donna is a vampire. She forces everybody to live in her drama, in her traumatic. She makes everybody be a part of it. She makes everybody suffer because she's depressed and everybody needs to feel her pain and everybody has to be held accountable and everybody's pulled into her drama. And they said it several times over the episode that she's a vampire. She sucks the life out of everybody because she that's how she handles her depression, right? Um... And where you can see in the, her three kids how they've taken the way that she is and have uh, structured their lives to be different. So 
with sugar. She's non-confrontational. Mm -hmm. She's constantly empathizing. Mm -hmm. She constantly wants to make sure she's okay. Yeah. And that pisses her off. But that's like who she is as a person because she didn't get that from her mom. Right. I thought that was fantastic. Carmen uh, is like, I'm an anti-social motherfucking person. Like, I don't even want to be here. And though she's like, family, 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 drilling how important family is, he's, you know, pulled himself away because he can't deal with the dynamic that is family situation. Yeah. And the most tragic part of all of this is Mikey. Mikey, who suffers from the same depression, doesn't share it with everybody else. He does that shit in his private life. Mm -hmm. No one even know, knew he was like this level of depressed because he has to be the person that like is sociable and likable and has to bring the light to every situation. And that's his it's role draining. in the family dynamic. It's draining. And so he has to suffer all by himself in the privacy of his own thoughts. And ultimately he doesn't have a support system because he's the strongest person. Yeah. And that's what ultimately led to what it led to. And it's tragic and it's yeah. heartbreaking. But the way this episode was able to showcase that and bring light to everything that we've uh, seen so far and really showcased uh, why Carmi, Sugar, and, you know, Mikey ultimately were the people that they are uh, is fucking fascinating. And I don't think I've ever seen, and that's saying a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen uh, an episode or a show do it as well as this did without blatantly just telling you this is how I am, you know? Like, they yeah, just gave us an yeah. opportunity to experience the family dynamic as it truly was, and then we get to walk away with, like, I see why you're like this. Mm -hmm. um, which I just think is phenomenal, and it just speaks to how well-crafted this episode was, how well-written it was. Um, I'm just completely blown away about what this series is. It's entirely different and not what I expected to be. It's so much deeper, so much more vulnerable, so... Uh, so much more nuanced than I thought it was going to be going in, and I feel like it's like a like a gift <laughs> to yeah. be able to watch this show. So loved everything about this episode, and cannot wait to see where the season progresses from here. Yep. All right. Well, look. Thank you guys again for watching another amazing episode of the Bear Season Two, Episode Number Six. And until next time.